What's up you guys? It's your girl Loverly and I am back with another video. You see the thumbnail and the title. I'm giving you guys what you guys have been asking for. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to construct a balloon garland using 260Q balloons. If you guys do not know what 260Q balloons are, there are these long balloons that are used to make animal balloons usually, but they come in different sizes. You have 160, you have 360, but the um, most popular ones are the 260s. So, so that is what I'm going to be using to create the balloon garland today. I usually tie my clusters by the neck. You can also use fishing line or ribbons, but this is one of the easiest ways to create your balloon garlands apart from tying the necks for me personally. So I definitely want to show you guys how to get that done. Plus it has been requested over and over and over again. So here I am giving you guys what you want as usual because I just love you so much. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and also leave me some feedbacks in the comment section below. But before I jump into today's tutorial, I want to talk about the sponsor for today's video, Ana Luisa. Thank you, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've talked about them before, and here I am back again with a couple pieces that I would love to show you guys. So you guys know Mother's Day is around the corner, and with the help of Ana Luisa, I'll be able to give two of my favorite moms some high quality jewelry pieces. Their unique pieces are the perfect addition to anyone's wardrobe, so I know my mom and grandma will love their Mother's Day gift. I've been rocking some of my pieces from Ana Luisa and I am living for the constant compliments while I'm out. All of their designs are affordable and as I said earlier, they're high quality, starting as low as $39. Ana Luisa Jewelry is crafted with the planet in mind. The brand is carbon neutral and climate neutral certified, offset in 100% of their carbon footprint. Click the link in my description box to check out Ana Luisa, and if you guys would like to save some money at checkout, go ahead and use my discount code LOVELY20 to save some money on your order. But without further ado, let's just get straight into today's tutorial. Okay, so I told you guys what 260 balloons are earlier, but I do want to give y'all some tips. So you can buy 260 from different brands like Qualitex, Sempertex, even Tuftex, but I don't do that, especially when I'm using it as an attachment or when I'm using it to create my garlands. I just go ahead on Amazon and purchase like a 400 pack for the low low, like save some money. <laughs> The link to that pack is in my Amazon storefront and I'll also leave the direct link in the description box down below. So go ahead and save you some money. Don't waste your money on quality 260 balloons if you only need it to like attach your garlands to a backdrop or the wall or to create your garlands. Just save yourself some money. But if you're like doing twisting and you know the 260 is going to be shown, I would definitely say yes order your quality 260 balloons. So that is what I've been doing for years. I've just been reordering the 400. Sometimes they come in like 800 packs and it's very cheap. So go do that. So whenever I'm using 260s to construct my garlands, I like to push all of the air out of the 260. This allow me to stretch the balloon even more. So what I'm doing is like starting at the bottom and just pushing all the air out where the opening is and then I just tie. I just tie it where the opening is and that way I'm able to like stretch the 260 more when I'm constructing the garland. Also, I do attach more than one 260 together. This way I don't have to constantly stop and like add another 260 because when you're using 260 balloons to create your garlands, you do use a lot. So that is another reason to go buy the cheap 260 balloons because you will be using a lot if you use it to create your garlands. So what I usually do is like tie a couple 260 together like this. So this is like two and I'm going to add more to it, but this is a way to like save you some time. And some of you might be wondering about like the random colors. Whenever I use 260s in my garland or use it to attach it to like a backdrop, it never shows like you have to find a way to hide it. It don't really show. So I use a color that's really close to the balloons that I'm using or whatever color I have available. But I never have to worry about the 260 balloons showing because they never do. All right. So I have some clusters here that I inflated. 
off camera. There are clusters of six and I also have clusters of eight. So this is Cameo from Tough Tex and this is Rosewood from Sempertex and these are the only two colors I'll be using in 11 inch and five inches for the fillers. So I'm taking my first 260 and I'm going to tie it around my cluster. I'm just using one end of the 260 to tie it in the cluster. And I do two knots just to make sure that it won't come apart. So I have all of this right here ready to attach the rest of my clusters. So I'm just going to be making like a figure eight and I'm going to do it twice. Making sure that you guys can see. So I'm just going in the rosewood cluster, coming back down to the cameo, under, and then do it one more time. And I have my 260 back in the middle. And in order to make sure that your garlands are tight, you really have to pull the 260. So you cannot have it like really loose. Just make sure that you're pulling really tight. That way your garland won't be like shaking all over the place and it won't be like too many gaps in your garland. And push down. If you see that you're running out of um, space on your 260, before you add another cluster, just go ahead and add your extra 260 balloon because when it's too short, it's really difficult to add another 260 onto it. So when you see that you don't have much left, I would just go ahead and add another 260. So if you have some 260s at the end and you're finished creating your garland, what I usually do is like wrap it in my cluster a couple times and like go back down to the previous one as well. It's like you're making sure that it's super tight. Then come back on top and you can just tie it onto one of the necks of the balloon. Yeah, 
it just tie it onto one of the necks of your balloon never leave like your 260 hanging because it will possibly just take all of your clusters apart and then your balloon garland will be ruined so i already have some hooks on the wall i have three of the clear hooks on the wall and i'm going to and i'm going to be using some 260s to create like a hoop then I attach my balloon garland to it. I'm gonna add the 260 first, then I'm gonna give you guys like a close up of how it looks. All right, you guys, so this is how the hook looks on the wall. You're supposed to use painter's tape under these just so it won't strip your paint, but I don't, and that is not really good, so do as I say, not as I do. So this is how I attach the 260 to the hook, and then I have this little hoop right here, and this is what I'll be putting around the balloon that's on my garland. So Okay, you guys, so I have the garland attached to the wall and I'm going to show you guys how you can use 260s to attach extra clusters to your balloon garland. Some people do like their balloon garlands looking like this. Some people like their balloon garlands with like a nice big white flow at the bottom. And some people like all of their balloon garland to be like chunky. Usually when I'm creating my garlands, I would just tie it by the neck, like go in and just tie it in. But I want to show you guys an easier way to attach clusters to your balloon garland. So I have a 260 right here and I'm just going to tie it in. So I tied it in and I have the two ends of my 260. I'm going to create a hoop. hoop looking like this and I'm going to be putting this around one of the balloons on the garland. So I want to come to the bottom down here. Like so like that. So now that I have my garland on the wall, it's just a basic garland just to demonstrate to you guys. Now I'm going to show you guys how to attach your fillers. These are fillers, they're made from 5 inch balloons inflated to about 3 inches or less. I never go above 3 inches. You can use rubber bands to attach them to your garlands, you can use fishing line, you can use glue dots, but in today's video I'm showing you guys how to use 260 balloons to attach your fillers. So on one end, I'm going to attach the rosewood. You can do two same colors if your garland is like much bigger and you wanna add more than one filler into your cluster. But for the sake of this video and because the garland is super small, we're going to be doing two different colors. So on each end of the 260, And I have all of this. I can stretch it as far as I want to. So I'm going to be putting the rosewood on this cluster and then the cameo on this cluster. So first I'm going to wrap this one in. Make sure that you place it where you want it. You, you usually, you can use these to hide all of like the spots that you're seeing in your cluster. So first I want to wrap this one in. And then I come down with the cameo and wrap it in. 
and I still have room to move it wherever I want it. So I can put it up here, right here, over here, and same with this one because the 260 is like super flexible. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and if it was helpful. If you have any questions or if you think that I missed something in today's video, leave it down in the comment section and I will be sure to answer all of your questions. Shout out to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video again. Remember, if you guys would like to purchase, the direct link to their website is in the description box down below as well as my code. I'm gonna also put it right here so you guys could save 20% off of your order. If you want to subscribe to the channel already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I will definitely catch y'all in my next video. Bye. Is the door open? This door, the balcony. No, you cold? The birds. Oh. They're very loud. <laughs> These are the only two colors I'm going to be using to demonstrate. Oh my God, I wasn't recording. But I wanna show you guys a heat, a easier, a easier way. <sighs> Crazy. Let me get some water. And I will get in touch. What the f am I trying to say?